So I've actually already moved here to my new apartment. I am very excited. It is a lot bigger. Last night we had movers move everything here. I didn't film it because it was very stressful. I was packing like all day. Finally got here, it cost me a bloody fortune. I feel like they were taking their sweet ass time. I mean, I know it's like a lot of stuff, but I've never had movers take so long and it cost me so much money. So I'm a little bit annoyed. I'll give you guys a little empty tour i'm filming on my iphone because i packed all my sd cards and my camera doesn't have an sd card in it so but i feel like the lighting is pretty good it works but i'll give you a little empty apartment tour and i'm really just going to be organizing organizing putting shit away writing down what i need kind of just allow like giving myself the day to like put everything in its place so that when i leave for the holidays it's not a mess all right so this is the first part we have our dining table which I bought from the previous people. And then over there is the kitchen. There's one room. There's another room right there. That's gonna be my office. Living area, this whole area. Don't know what this is really. And then that is the bedroom. I know guys, it's literally insane. It's huge. I'm like beyond grateful. This is the bed situation. We just have our mattress on the floor. And then closet storage. I'm just gonna give you guys a rough view. As you can see, it's a fucking mess right now, but I'm gonna do my best to try and make that better. This is my favorite area. I think I'm gonna do a lot of filming against this wall. The couch fits in my fucking apartment now. This is the TV. This is a bench to the table we had, but I hate my um, TV stand, so I need to get a new one. Windows. And then this, I think, is gonna be my office. Kind of a weird closet, because it doesn't really have a big rack, but I could always put another one here. But I think this might be just like, maybe I'll put all my work stuff in here, like anything I need to shoe, anything like for work, we'll put in here. And I also wanna repaint the floors. They told me the previous owner painted the floor, um, but I think it looks really dirty. But yeah, and I'm also gonna, hire a cleaner to come and clean the floors because they said they cleaned them, but I'm not really sure. And then this is a little overview of the kitchen. It's pretty dated, but the space makes up for it. And then that's a dishwasher. I'm not really sure where they're putting it. Yeah, and then the bathroom is over here. I love the tile, but I kind of just wanted to sit down and just kind of like talk about this huge change. like. This is kind of crazy. I am beyond happy. I was looking for apartments for literally months. I hated my apartment I was in. It was way too small. I had no creative freedom. I had like, like I couldn't even decorate it. I was so excited to move, finally move into my own apartment, like sign a lease rather than stay in an Airbnb, which I've been doing like pretty much the whole time I've lived in New York. But then I signed my lease way too quickly on that other place. And it was just, it just, it, I had too much shit essentially and I had no like I couldn't decorate like it was just so not a vibe like there was no it didn't feel like me at all like whereas this space I feel like I can actually like decorate and like be creative which is like interior design is something I over always really loved especially like growing up I thought I wanted to be an interior designer low-key I don't know if I'm actually any good but I'm excited to like have room for like actual pieces and like put art on the wall and shit like that. And it's just crazy that I'm able to afford a place like this. I mean, shit, barely. I got a really good deal, I will say that. And I am renting in off season, it's December, right before Christmas. So the broker told me that they had previously rented this place for like in the summertime for like multiple thousands of dollars more than what I'm paying for this monthly and then because something happened or whatever and it went off the market and they relisted it in December and that's why I got such a good deal. So it's definitely worth it if you can wait or like can be flexible with moving in like to try and move in like the winter time because New York is fucking expensive. So try and get any deal you can get. 
Anyway, um, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to grow and like start some projects in here and I'll finally have a space to like, my friends can come over, my friends can stay with me. Like I have a lot of big projects in the works and I wanna like literally like, put a big ass like styrofoam move boards and like put, I don't know. It's just, it's all happening and I'm very excited. And I'm also like, it's so surreal because like, I don't know, like two years ago, I was like living in Canada, like, like what? And like, I already feel so much imposter syndrome living in New York just because like, even like, I feel like for people from California, like Americans in general, it's like, it's not that big of a deal. But like for me, like literally coming into the country every single time I get grilled on why I'm here, like it, it's it's a big deal. You know what I mean? Like. If you're from Canada or you're from like not the States, you understand that it's it's not easy to live here being non-American. The fact that I have come this far is actually fucking insane. And I'm so grateful for literally every single one of you. And I don't I don't tell you guys enough. But I am. And like the only time people will come up to me is people who watch my YouTube videos and I think that's so crazy because I have like a fraction of the amount of followers on YouTube on um, you know, my other social medias, but it just shows, like, I don't know, you guys are really, you guys are the real ones, and I really want to give you guys more, so I'm trying to do a lot more content on YouTube, and it's honestly, it's where I started, it's where my roots are, and I'm more than happy to do it, I feel so comfortable talking in front of the camera, it's crazy, because I feel so uncomfortable talking to people, but when I'm talking to you guys, like, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you, I don't know, it's just crazy. I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me throughout my inconsistencies on YouTube, and I hope you guys are really excited. Let me know. I'm going to try and document, like, what I can of the whole apartment process. I'm excited. I know, like, I did document the literal moving, but you guys will see me organizing, decorating, brainstorming, shopping. Um, I have some interior shopping carts that i want to go through with you guys later let me know your thoughts but um yeah the main goal for today and the next few days is just have this place a little bit organized and like not have shit everywhere before i leave for the holidays because i don't want to leave the place looking like shit i'm just gonna try and get it set up i called spectrum today i'm gonna go pick up a wi-fi system yeah like what is this background like this is this is something, this is an apartment I've literally dreamed of, but I knew like in New York it was not going to be a reality. And then when I saw this place, I was like, okay, it's a little more than I want to pay, but it'll influence me hopefully to influence, not influence, motivate me hopefully to work harder. Even though honestly guys, like I don't want to toot my own horn, horn but I also want to like pat myself on the back because I work really fucking hard. Like you guys probably, I don't know. It's hard to like show like for people to see that maybe, but I work really hard and I'm always stressed and I'm I'm like yeah, I've been working really hard this year and I feel like I deserve this, you know. I feel like I deserve it. So I'm I'm happy to be here and I'm gonna embrace it and if I can do it, so can all of you guys. So I'm let this be your motivation. I don't know, maybe that sounded weird, but. Okay, I'm procrastinating, but I'm also drinking my coffee. It's also really fucking cold in here because I don't know if the heating has not been turned on or what is going on, but it's the weekend, so no one's responding to me, but it's really cold in here, so. Is it just me or does blue bottle coffee, like, low-key, like, smell like farts and, like, garbage? Like, it smells like a literal like I don't know. It doesn't taste good or smell good. But it's strong, so Okay, I need to take a thumbnail before I like fuck this way up. Obviously this is on um zero point five, but we have a lot of space to work with here. We can have some dance parties. Just kidding. I literally had to sign on my lease away my rights to a party because this space is very like party friendly and not that I would ever have a party like I don't even know more than five people
Okay, I think my first plan of action is going to be just moving the boxes to like their designated room. Also guys, like, do you know what to do about these things? Like, I've just recently started getting them. I think they're called calyx, but like my baby hairs are just like going up like that and it's very annoying. Why is this happening all of a sudden? I really went all in with this move all by myself. I bought this like plastic wrap. Like it's like basically um, saran wrap. And I wrapped literally everything. This is a disgusting TV stand that I want to get rid of. But like this, basically. I wrapped everything like this. Literally, I'm so sore from moving yesterday. That's when you know. This is not what this is. But I'm trying to decide what to do with these drawers because I don't actually like them. I just got them in our old apartment because they were cheap. They like worked for storing like underwear and shit. And I kept them in the closet. But I actually don't like how they look at all. And they're really not really that functional, to be honest. But I'm trying to decide if I should just put them in the closets for now anyway. Because my problem with closets, if you guys have any good like closet storage recommendations or inspo, please send it to me because closets are great, but these closets aren't really like built. They're like just a bar. And I need like drawers for like my underwear and like small tops, like things like that, workout clothes. I'm just like not really sure what to do. I'm thinking of building shelves, but I also like don't, I don't want to, you know what I mean? Like I feel like I need drawers for like my underwear and shit like that. So I'm going to put these in the closet for now, even though they're ugly, I think. And then hopefully in the new year, I'll find something nicer. But I also like don't want to spend like a lot of money. So maybe some DIYing or something. My friend Courtney actually, she told me that she went with her boyfriend to Home Depot or something like that and got a bunch of like, like industrial like bars and stuff and put in her wall and like things like that for her closet. So I think I might do that because I think that's a good idea and probably way cheaper than like, I feel like Urban sells like industrial type shelving bars for like so much money and you could just probably get it for way cheaper if you just do a little more work. Let's move this bad boy. Shit. Excuse the shoes everywhere. Gosh, not the Gucci loafers. Okay, I think this room right now is gonna be like the random room slash my closet. Um, because this, I don't like either, but again, I, it, oh God, it's just so Ikea. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I don't like it. And I don't know what I was gonna say, but I think this room is just gonna be like random. But another big thing for me when I was looking for a new place is I really, 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 really wanted a two, at least a two bedroom. I didn't, I wasn't really looking for a three bedroom at all, but then I found this place and I was like, okay, I'll take it. But essentially my biggest thing in my previous apartments is I felt like my work was spilling over into my apartment and I for me like it's really hard to have like a work-life balance and I think if I have all my work in like a closed door space that it will really help me differ differentiate and like have a more minimalistic like less messy chaotic apartment and living space because that's what I really want this time around. I don't want boxes everywhere. I don't want piles of clothes. I want everything to be organized. I want it to feel like, I don't know. I don't I don't want it to be messy, that's all I know. Because I feel like my apartment has always been so messy and like packed, just like literally shit everywhere. And so my mind was never clear and like it really like fucked with me. I feel like work-wise, mentally, everything like that. At least I think so. I'm hoping with this new space, I have a lot more room to you know have a clear mind does that make sense or does that sound really stupid i don't know <laughs> okay i got this package from this holiday gift from prada and i just opened it on tiktok but i thought i would show you guys it's so cute oops in the first box there is these prada christmas lights 
adorable. I'm gonna put them up somewhere in the apartment. I don't have a tree because it's kind of a little late to be buying a tree, but I definitely wanna get one next year. And put these gorgeous Prada ornaments on it. Look how pretty they are. I don't wanna be like one of those people who, oh my God, <laughs> literally drops them. Oh my goodness, look, you can see your reflection. There's my phone. They're stunning. I'm literally obsessed, but I'm just gonna keep them in the box. They're so cute, wow. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys. Thank you so much, product. If you're watching this, you're probably not. I'm gonna continue with the organizing. I found that I have to go to a facial, and it's really far. It's like all the way uptown, so I have to leave like 40 minutes before, 45, honestly. So that means if it's at 2.20, I have to leave at... I don't fucking know. I don't know, I'm not gonna mess. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go pick up my Spectrum Wi-Fi stuff from a couple, from the store because it's faster. This is what I'm wearing solely because I have no other clothes, they're all in boxes, but these are, these pants are Nike. I thrifted to them in London. Uggs. This is my boyfriend's sweatshirt. And this jacket I thrifted in Paris. And my coach bag. And that's it. Let's go. Taking out all the plastic. up some lunch, some sushi, and got my spectrum shit. Now I have 30 minutes to try and set it up. If not, it's gonna have to wait till later, but I'm gonna try and get it done before I have to leave. Totally forgot to hit record, but I'm trying to set up the spectrum Wi-Fi situation. I think I've done this before, but I think I like couldn't figure it out and then had to like have someone come and do it for me. But I've Follow the instructions so far. First step done. Connect the manufacturer applied AC. What booklet? I don't have a booklet here. So confused. Oh man, okay, I think I'm gonna have to use my phone. Chinese broccoli, 
pancakes. These are some sort of dumpling. Ooh, that looks good. I think that's shredded chicken. I think this is bang bang chicken. I don't know. Um, Everything looks really good. What's this place called? Birds of a feather. Yeah. Fairy pops. I don't know what this is. What is this? Everything smells so good. Yeah, and then this is shrimp dumplings, and then we have a little dessert, and we're gonna feast.